In this video, I'm going to run through how you can find the derivative of log x. So we're going to look at this case where you've got log to the base b, where b could, of course, be any number out there. And so this is going to be a very general case. And in order to do this differentiation, we have to make life a bit easier. And we can use a trick called the change of base rule that will let us change the base of the logarithm to something that's going to be easier to work with. The change of base rule says that if you've got log b of a, so that's log to the base b of some function a or some number a, in our case a is going to be x, you can change it to be log d, where d is just anything that you like, and you can choose that, as long as you find log d of a, which is this part of the logarithm, divided by log d of your old base b. So this will allow us to transform our differentiation here into a more simple form. And the best choice for d is to make this be e. So we're going to take d equals e. So this is going to give us a natural logarithm. And natural logarithms are much easier to find the derivatives of. So I'm just going to switch this to base e and follow the rule. So this x is what our a value is. So it matches up a there, a there, a there. So this is where we get our x from. And then we're doing log to the base e of our old base, which is b. So we've completed this change of base. You should recognize that log e is simply your ln function or your natural logarithm. So we're going to change these log e's to ln. So we've now got this expression here. This is going to be easier to find the derivative of. Ln b, b is a base. This is going to end up being a constant. So we can take out that from the differentiation. So we've got 1 over ln b. And then we only have to worry about the derivative of ln x. And you may recall that the derivative of ln x is simply 1 over x. And so we can just get this. So this is becoming 1 over x. There's the 1 over x there times our constant. And that gives us our final answer. So this is the general form of how you can find the derivative of log x. I hope this video was helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.